so first and foremost, I actually want to do, and I'm actually really excited to see what you found, um, the history yes. of Black Friday. How did it start? When did it start? Sure, sure. So the history is, it called? Yeah, I mean. Uh, the history is a bit murky, actually. Um, you know, traditionally, I think most people will say, or a lot of retailers will argue that, you know, throughout the you know the lion's share of the year through the first eleven months almost they're operating at a loss so they're in the red or so break even on the, the books yeah exactly and the the heightened shopping activity for retailers on that Friday after Thanksgiving is the opportunity for them to move enough merchandise and generate enough sales to essentially move them into the black or into profitability hence the term Black Friday that's that was, what's generally ar- argued by a lot of that people. was one of the first things I noticed when I you know little 15 16 year old Sean first looked at you know these these quarterly reports from a couple of retailers and uh, I was a nerdy kid um, <laughs> no and you see like their revenue numbers for the fourth quarter Gangbusters. Sure. Every you know, rest of the year, it's like eh, whatever. Sure, so, it even impacts the you know their reporting and their fiscal quarters. Right. They, you'll notice that all their quarters end like what December thirty first, January second, something. Yeah. So a lot of them will incorporate um, the holiday. I'm sorry, January thirty first, February second, exactly. something like that. Anyway. Uh, so that's commonly been argued as the history behind it, but there's actually a lot of other. Uh, I guess a lot of other interpretations. So that includes something a little more controversial, where there are some suggestions that the name actually originates from a practice in the 19th century when Southern slave owners could buy slaves after Thanksgiving at a discount. That's, that's easily the worst thing I've ever heard. I mean, like not the worst, but that's up there. <laughs> that's generally been discredited, and most people agree that the real, uh, I guess, source of the term is actually comes from the city of brotherly love, Philadelphia, where. Uh, after Thanksgiving, there would be a lot of uh, shoppers, tourists flocking to the city, not only for Friday shopping and just over the weekend too, but there's like the traditional Army-Navy game that takes place on Saturday. So a lot of people are in town for that. A lot of police don't get the day off on that Friday because of all the extra foot traffic, uh, vehicle traffic, the, all the stores. There's Because there's so, so much activity at the stores, like even chaotic, there's more shoplifting. So police started referring to that day after Thanksgiving as Black Friday. And this kind of this really took hold in the 50s through the 60s. And some of the stores in the area didn't like that. So they tried a PR campaign to essentially change the name to like... Uh, to make it big, a positive event. Yeah, to make it Big Friday. Never took hold. So uh, the term, though, didn't really uh, expand to the rest of the U.S. until I think it was about the 80s. And then uh, since then, r- you know, retailers themselves have really seized upon the, the term. The birth of a moder- modern American consumerism. And they've <laughs> turned it into an opportunity to have these really, you know, uh, strong sales numbers each year. And so generally that's, uh, that's where the, the term came from. Wow. Um, so now we hear we're here in the internet age, mm-hmm. and regular traditional retailers get their Black Friday. Mm-hmm. Internet retailers, seeing the success and what happens to Macy's, J.C. Penney, Best sure. Buy, everybody, uh, created their own day, Cyber Monday. Okay, will so, this never end? So Cyber Monday is not nearly as rich in history as I'm Black starting, Friday. I'm starting Sean Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> everybody gives me stuff. <laughs> not the worst idea, but uh, for Cyber Monday, that's that was actually created very recently, in the past ten years. So in 2005, the National Retail Federation re- put out a press release, basically saying uh, they're seeing this trend where the Monday after after Thanksgiving is quickly becoming the uh, biggest sales uh, online sales day of the year for them, and so. We're looking at you, Amazon.com. We know you started Well, it. <laughs> this makes a lot of sense, right? Because it kind of grew step in step uh, with the overall growth of e-commerce as a percentage of total retail sales. So how sales. big? I mean, so, give me some numbers here. So Cyber yeah. Monday, you know, it, it really did grow very quickly. So in 2005, when that first press release came out, I think it was, uh, it was $500 million of sales for the day. And then um, by 2010, it had, in fact, become the biggest... Uh, online shopping day, and now it's at two point five billion dollars. So in the past ten years, ten it's, years it's grown five times, five fold. Time, five wow! Fold. Um, and just keep in mind too that e-commerce in the U.S. has grown from two point six percent to seven point four percent of total U.S. retail sales over that same ten year period. So again, very much correlated. 